In a recent video, I showed how I'd set up my Raspberry Pi 8-channel relay to set up an outdoor lighting control system. I've received a couple questions about how I set up the 8-channel relay and connected that to the Raspberry Pi. So, uh, the answer is, because I've split the power here uh, to this board uh, and then out to these um, two PIR motion sensors, it's a little more complicated than it deserves to be. So what I thought I would do is I would come over here uh, to an extra Raspberry Pi Model A that I have and an extra 8-channel relay board that I have and talk about how I put the two together. So let me just put the camera down here for a second. Uh, the first thing to note is these cables. These cables are, are cables that I bought on eBay. Uh, they are uh, female to female jumper cables um, and as you can see come in a variety of colors which makes it easy to uh, transpose from one to the other. Uh, so I'm just going to line these up and just before I do I'm just going to go over here. Uh, the best thing to do is to look up on the internet how the GPIOs line up. So uh, this one runs off of 5 volt. So what we're going to do is 5 volt out. This will be our ground return. And then what we'll do is uh, I like to keep it nice and tidy. So I'm just going to use the GPIOs down one side. Uh, at least that's what I did in my main project though today. Uh, for this demo, I'm only going to show um, attaching one of them. Uh, uh, just one other thing to note, if you do buy the Sane Smart uh, or similar uh, relay board, um, I have my jumper set to VCC JD VCC. Uh, so that's the one on the right. Great. Let's just line this up here. What I'm going to do, uh, the first, the first one I'm going to set is the five volt. So the five volt uh, goes from the five volt out on the Raspberry Pi into the VCC connection on the 8 channel relay. The next one that I'm going to set up is ground, which is right side pin down there. Slot that in, and that runs uh, to this side, which is the ground. Okay, now that I have those two set up, that's the main power for the board. And like I say, I like to keep things tidy, so I'm going to go from the other side here. Let me just have a quick look. Uh, so GPIO3 is the second one down on the left side with that at the top. So i pop that in there. So now I know the GPIO3, and I'll connect this to number one, say, on that side. So that's it. Uh, I don't have these powered at the minute, but you can see just with three cables, I've set up the first, uh, the first GPIO to drive this. Uh, one channel, which would be uh, this one here. Uh, all you do is uh, continue uh, down the side, uh, as I would have done it here. I would go uh, GPIO 3, GPIO 5, GPIO 7, 11, 13, 15, 19, 21, 23. Uh, down that side, actually, that's 9. I would have stopped it. Uh, in fact, I think I did stop it at 21. Let's just have a quick look down here. Uh, it's a bit difficult to see in there, given the way the case is set up, but... So basically that's what I've done. Um, if there's uh, any other questions about this, uh, just let me know and uh, happy to post some more videos. Thanks very much.